What's up guys? So uh, today I'm coming at you guys with a video that's actually going to feature some of you in it. Um, but unfortunately it's, it's gonna be featuring people that made very big mistakes. A week ago I did a trivia show with Lex and one of the questions was around the recon expert, which to the general community of Fortnite is kind of assumed to be the rarest skin in the game. And there was a guy that commented on this. Um, this is kind of the inspiration for this video. He says, I didn't realize that skin was so rare. I refunded it. And basically what I did is I reached out to some of you guys on Twitter and I thought it would be really funny to go through some of the just awful and terrible mistakes that people have made when it comes to refunds in Fortnite. Now before we do get into it, I just want to say if maybe you don't follow me already um, and you want to be included in something like this in the future, at the Smith Plays on Twitter, go follow me up, uh, link down in the description. The other thing I just want to say is, um, one, yes, I am washing this shirt. I'm just wearing it for literally every video because it's only a two week campaign, but time is running out. So if you guys are interested in getting a Best Life shirt, um, top link in the description, go do it up. But without further ado, whoa, puberty part two is coming through. Without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, Let's get into it. So probably one of the biggest mistakes you could make in the game would be refunding the recon expert. So again, I gotta give a shout out to my man Bartek because uh, feels extra bad. The next unfortunate refund we have comes from Reddit user Quickful. I refunded Raiders Revenge. I sent an email to Epic Support asking for a refund. This was way back during season two when they didn't actually have refunds, but they granted it for some reason. I still think that it looks like shit, but it's obviously extremely rare. Yeah, so for those of you guys that don't know, um, the Raiders Revenge was the first ever custom pickaxe ever featured in Fortnite. Well, actually it came out at the same time as the Scythe, but still, um, one of the very original pickaxes. Now back in season two, they didn't actually have the refund system, but in some cases it turned out that Epic would refund you given the right circumstances. The next unfortunate event comes from another Reddit user that goes by the name of his annoying. And uh, while he didn't actually refund it himself, his brother refunded the battle hound. Now, I wouldn't say that this is one of the worst possible skins you could refund, okay? It's no ghoul trooper, but the thing with this is they just actually changed the back blings. Well, I should say they just made it. They just made the cape that came with the battle hound actual back bling before it was just like an accessory that couldn't be put on any other character. They just updated that and that's kind of annoying because maybe you even wanted like the back bling and uh, your brother refunded it. I never had a little brother, but I just feel like that is something that everybody that does have one can relate to. Next up, we have a comment from Twitter user Demetrius. He says, I refunded my Nutcracker or crack shot while I was trying to refund a different skin. Now I know what a lot of you sharper people are thinking out there and probably already said it in the comment section. Um, so you're gonna have to edit what you just said. You can only refund skins within 30 days, but for those of you that may not have been playing Fortnite in Season 3 or didn't remember this because it was only a one day event, um, Epic actually made it so that you could refund things. There was maybe a six hour window in Season 3 when you could actually refund any skin at all and there was some glitch associated with it that you could basically get unlimited V-Bucks or at least free V-Bucks through the battle tiers and all that stuff. Um, Basically, they had to take it out, but there was a time when you could refund any skin. And it's obviously impossible to tell whether any of these people are being honest or not, um, but I think we have to trust them when they say these, these, these very sad things. And to my man, if you did refund the crack shot, that is extremely sad because the, the crack shot is the second oldest legendary skin of all time. Crackshot would be a, a one that I would regret a lot. Now the next one we have comes from Reddit user Razmuto, and uh, this is something that I can really empathize with. He refunded Rock Out. Okay, um, I feel really bad for you. He asks if it's kind of rare, but in my top 10 rarest emotes video, which I will say ended up being a lot less accurate than I had hoped, and I, I kind of, take it back. It's always the videos that you mess up on that go viral, but at the end of the day, um, I said that the rock out is one of the rarest emotes, and I, I hold true to that, um, and if you traded it, that would suck. Now, this next comment is a very believable one. It comes from Krusty Pancakes. 
So basically the way that the refund system used to work was it was alphabetical and it might still be, I've never tried to refund anything, but what this guy did is he was trying to refund Rambunctious, which by the way, Great, great dance. I don't know why you'd want to refund that. But anyways, just because the way things work alphabetically, he accidentally clicked on Raptor, which is a really awesome skin. It's a pretty rare skin. Um, and he accidentally <laughs> refunded that instead. Next comment comes from Colgate Der Puffle. And this guy refunded his power cord. Now the power cord isn't really a great skin, but I would be very sad if I lost that back bling. Um, so this is what happened. I refunded power cord to test out the refund system before it was disabled. It's probably my biggest regret and hopefully I'll get it back one day. So essentially what happened is when the old system came out, he wanted to see how it worked and uh, he accidentally hit refund. Um, feels bad. Now this next one is from Zam and basically what he says is he accidentally refunded his Black Knight. This is one that I want to say is fake because I know now you can't refund Battle Pass skins. Um, but more importantly, I don't even think back at the start of when there was that like that six hour period that you could refund them. I don't even think you could do that then. Um, so this is probably a fake one, but I figured I'd just throw it in to see what you guys thought of it. I mean, if you did lose your Black Knight, that would suck, but it's probably not true. So I wouldn't feel too bad for this guy. <laughs> now this next one comes from Dosky's Beast and basically he has a really bad friend. He was in the bathroom and his friend refunded his Raptor. In my personal opinion, if my friend refunded one of my best skins, that would be grounds for, for termination of that friendship. Seriously, if someone traded my ghoul trooper, I think I would never talk to them again. <laughs> now Kevin from Twitter says, I refunded World War II because that game is trash. And I gotta say, Kevin, you made the right decision. Well done. Demands says that he got dared to refund his ghoul trooper. And while I don't believe that, if it were true, I would die inside a little bit. No, I would I would die on the inside a lot. I seriously love my ghoul trooper. Did I just say ghoul trooper for that last like minute of the video? I'm sorry guys. Sometimes I say the opposite of what I mean. Like one time in a video I said I regret buying the red knight. I don't even have the red knight. I'm sorry, I'm I'm scatterbrained. Now this next one's really funny. It comes from Tristan and basically what happened is his friend bought the soccer, uh, one of the, the eight soccer skins and <laughs> He thought that it was individual jerseys that you bought, so not like, you know, the, the whole pack, but you just got one of them. And so he's like, oh, I bought the wrong one and refunded it. Now, I mean, it's whatever. It's not like the craziest and most amazing skin ever, but that sucks because you only get three refunds and he obviously wasted one of them. Now, the second last one that we have on our list comes from Mateo and he refunded his Red Knight. Basically what happened is when the original refund system came around, it was really easy, okay, as you can see through a lot of these people, it was very easy to accidentally refund things. And he, he just wanted to simply see like, hey, how much is my red knight worth? Maybe he didn't remember that all skins are worth 2000, but either way, um, he tried to check out how much it was actually worth and um, hit refund. But ladies and gentlemen, we've got one more and uh, I wanted to save the best for last because one, uh, it comes from Noobface, who is a, a fan of the show, friend of the show, I should say, and uh, I, I know this to be legit. He did, in fact, lose his crack shot. Again, the second ever legendary skin of Fortnite. So put yourself in this situation. It's 2017. You've been playing Fortnite for a few months. People are getting better at the game, and, and oh, comes this legendary skin called the crack shot. You buy it because it's a legendary skin. There's not many of them, right? There's only that and the Black Knight. And then you're like, you know what? I don't really like this. Okay, big head. I think I'm gonna refund it. So he directly emails Epic Games to refund it because at this time there was no refund system and you basically just had to get lucky from Epic Games actually acknowledging you. Anyways, like most refund requests, um, they never responded because they were not in the business of refunding anything. Why would they do that? Of course. like. You know, it didn't make sense at the time. There was just not a lot of demand for it at the end of the day. Four months go by and uh, still no response from Epic. And by this point, he's like, yeah, you know what? Uh, turns out Crackshot is one of the rare skins in Fortnite. Second legendary ever. I, I don't wanna, I don't wanna lose this. But uh, then Epic Games finally responded to the email. And he was one of the lucky people that got approved for said refund. He then tried to contact them back to undo the refund that he never actually wanted to happen and they didn't 
they didn't do it. Oh my god. I don't have the crack shot, but it is one of those skins I wish I did. And, like, aha! That sucks! How could you do that, Epic, to my man, Noob Face? I know he's a Noob Face and all, but, like, ah! For real, though, there's a lot of people that have had unfortunate events. This is the only one I know to be actually true. And because of that, I think we need to help get our man, Noob Face. We need to help get his skin back. Email Epic Games. We need to tweet at Epic Games. Justice for Noob Face. Unrefund Noob Face's crack shot. Ladies and gentlemen, we have to do it for Noob Face. Imagine how you would feel in this situation if you lost one of your great skins, your ghoul trooper, your black knight, your crack shot, whatever. Imagine how much that would hurt, okay? Together, guys, we can make a difference. We can get this man's crack shot back. Justice for new face. Epic Games is probably not going to respond, but it, it's worth a try. <laughs> Anyways, look guys, we're going to wrap this video up right there. Um, let me know what you thought of this. It was a little bit different, but I wanted to try something that kind of incorporates you guys. And it was it was fun and, and, and sad, but fun. Anyways, if you guys do want to get your best life shirt, there is uh, about a week or less, depending when this video goes live, left to get one. Um, don't leave yourself hanging. But if you like them, top link in the description. Go buy one, support the channel, and uh, live your best, I won't swear again, but your best life, okay? Do do that. I know I've been promoting this shirt a ton, but it's something that I'm just, I'm so happy with, and I'm, I'm just glad to finally have merch, um, and it's something that's meaningful to me. So, again, if you guys want to get one, it would be awesome, but obviously you don't have to, and it's it's total preference. So, that's, that's going to be the video. We're going to wrap things up right there. Thank you very much for watching. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Leave a like. And, uh, bye. Wow. Okay. Yeah, that's enough. <laughs>